That is the first emperor's tomb. And it's at the center of what is thought to be the largest burial complex in the world. Covering 22 square miles, this Chinese archeological site is bigger than Egypt's Valley of the Kings and packed with treasures richer than Tutankhamun's tomb. My name's Albert Lin. I'm a National Geographic explorer, and I specialize in using technology to discover what lies below the Earth's surface. The Emperor's tomb is right beneath my feet. Forensic evidence is coming out of the site that I'm keen to investigate. Archaeologists have found a mysterious skull in one mass grave. It could be key to our investigation. Now, to the untrained eye, it looks like any of the other skulls that we've seen here. But I've been told that this one is different. They're not typically Chinese features. Could this be a Westerner buried at the first emperor's tomb site? Experts at Dundee University have spent weeks analyzing it. I'm about to find out what they've discovered. Okay. Hey, Chris. Hi. How's it going? Chris, you sent us a, uh, a model of what you've made, and I haven't seen it yet. So let's take a look. It's a little creepy, you know? I mean, staring at this person who, it's so lifelike. So where would you place him in your expert analysis? There's so many shape features of the skull that are East Asian, and then there's this sort of bridge to the nose and this brow ridge. It's not common in an East Asian population. This is actually a Chinese skull from a, from a medical specimen. So you can see the difference between this yeah. nose and this. Oh, yeah. So it yeah, is. Yeah, we're talking this brow ridge and nose here. So the analysis that you're describing is basically the facial features around the brow ridge and the nose are non typical Asian features. The skull overall is, is East Asian in appearance, but with a stronger than normal brow ridge and, and more projecting kind of nose than you'd, than you'd normally expect. This isn't conclusive proof, but it is plausible evidence that there may have been outsiders at the tomb site. And it supports the controversial theory that the first emperor imported foreigners and foreign ideas. In conservative China, that would have been shocking. This is the first time a Chinese ruler has created lifelike statues for his tomb. <笑>怎么 
According to legend, the Emperor grows increasingly paranoid. Fearing death, he orders his court to find the secret of immortality. And what they give him is mercury. His medics believe that it's the elixir of life. In fact, mercury is a poison that will slowly destroy the very fabric of a person's brain and drive them insane. Sliding into madness, the Emperor orders that no one is to know where he is, including his ministers. The first Emperor's mental decline threatens the future of China. And the Prime Minister decides to act. <laughs> 